Hi, my name is Kerry Badham and I'm really excited to show you today three of our brand new products. Here is one of our new products. It's a baby's cot. You can make a 3D cake topper with this or if you wanted to, you could just use one of the panels to put on the end and on the front of your cake. We've also got a It's a Girl added to our curve words range and this fits beautifully on the front of your cake but you could also dry this and stand it on top of your cake as a topper. Here is our It's a Boy cake topper. As you can see here we've used it as a topper on top of the cake but you could also put it on the front of the cake just as we did with the It's a Girl. The paste we recommend you use is modelling paste. You can buy modelling paste or you can make your own. So here's some fondant. This is a Tylo powder. You can use CMC or Gumtrack. This one's actually a rainbow dust one. So you pop a little bit on your work mat. And then you knead your fondant into the powdered Tylo. You'll feel your paste start to firm up a little as you do this. You can make it up in larger quantities and you would use about a quarter of a teaspoon to 250 grams of fondant but I like to make mine as I'm going along and what I would do is I would wrap this up now in clean film, pop it in an airtight container and leave it for at least 30 minutes is better really if you do make it the night before. We're going to start with the It's a Boy. Here's my modelling paste that I rolled out earlier. I like to leave mine for a little bit just so it has a bit of a drier texture. You can see with it being modelling paste that you can move it quite easily without damaging the paste itself. So we're going to place the cutter on top and we're going to apply pressure all over the cutter. If you don't, you won't cut through nicely. Then we move it round our mat Turn it over and I'm going to rub the back of it with my hand. This is just to ensure that we don't have any frayed edges. So it's nice and simple. Remove the excess. And now we need to remove the inner sections. So quick and easy. As you can see, I've removed the inner sections. So now we have the word, it's a boy. So you can tap this on your work surface. And as you can see, it's starting to come out of the cutter. If you've rolled your paste too thick, or you haven't left it to dry a little, it would stick in the cutter. So roll it out two to three millimeters thick only, allow it to dry off a little on the top, and then cut it out. So here's our It's a Boy. We've used it as a cake topper. I allowed that to dry for 24 hours. And to support it, I placed a lolly stick, white paper lolly stick in the back and attached it with royal icing. If you want to attach it to the front of your cake, I recommend that you use water or some edible glue. To decorate the cake, we've used the panel from the cot set, which I'm going to be showing you in a moment. We've used the face of the baby in the adorable baby tappet set. And we've also used the nursery tappet set to make the bunting. You can see that we've got lots of hearts on the front of the cake here. And I've used the cutout section of the heart on the cot to make these. And we've also used the quilted rolling pin to make this look like a quilted effect on the bottom tier of the cake. So as you can see, it's a very effective cutter that you can use for baby showers or baby naming, or you may have a baby christening or a baby reveal cake. The final product I'm going to show you is our brand new cot and this is fantastic because you can make a 3d cot you have three cutters so this is the top and bottom panel 
this is the base of the cot and this is the sides of the cot and here I have them cut out and already dried so you would need to cut out two of these one of the base and two sides when we did the it's a boy cake we just used the front of the cot and we popped the baby's head looking cheekily over the top. I've rolled out some modelling or flower paste, whatever one you would like to use. In some countries they actually call it gum paste as well. So this is rolled out. I've left it for a little, little bit just to sort of get a dry edge. It's quite nice to turn it over because that's your smoothest side. And I'm going to cut out the base. So place it on top, apply pressure equally all around, remove the excess and just pop it through. So there's the base of your cot, nice and simple. To turn this round and if you're going to be making the cot you would cut out two sections but for the purpose of the video I'm just going to cut out the one. So place it on top of your chosen paste, slide it round, apply some pressure around the heart, you want that to cut out nicely, turn it over, I like to give it a little rub in the back of the heart. I'm going to use a tool just to pick the heart out. Now you can cut these out and use them as decorations as I did on the It's a Boy cake. And now I'm going to just pop this through nice and gently with a soft brush because you don't want to damage it. And we would cut out two of those. And to put these to one side. And I'm going to cut out a side of the cot. Now you would cut out two, but for the purpose of the video, I'm just showing you how to use the cutter itself. Slide it round, remove your excess, turn it over and with the back of my thumb, do this. Now you could pop this, these through with a brush or you can pick them out. It's entirely up to you. Three and four. So give it a little tap on my work surface. And then I'm just going to pop it through. So just two to three millimetres thick. It's very nice if you make it out of flour paste or gum paste because you get a much nicer finish and it dries much firmer. Whereas modelling paste can stay quite soft. So with this, I put mine on a sponge to dry and I just made sure that I kept it nicely in shape by using the straight edges of the base of my cot. Now you would allow two cot panels, two sides and one base to dry completely, a minimum of overnight. So you would have two cot pieces, one for the top and the bottom, two sides and one base. To try and demonstrate how you would piece this together in a video would be quite complicated and we have nothing to rest it up against. So at the end of the video, you will see a pictorial run to explain this fully for you. I would attach these together with royal icing, not water or edible glue. We want to use royal icing because we get a nice firm glue. So it will hold it nice and tight and it will keep it together. So you would have the, we would use this as the top and we would attach the, the side and I would use my work surface or, or the wall part in the kitchen or just something firm that's going to hold it straight. So I would put a line of royal icing along here, I would attach it on top, support it and we would use a, a small clean up tool so you don't have lots of icing everywhere. The next piece that I would attach would be the base. And then finally, we would put the other side of the cot on and then the other end. 
So when you put the opposite end on, what I would say is this part is going to be on view at the bottom of your cake. So when it's dry, we want the nice part facing out. So it gives you a nice edge and you'll know that by this is quite sharp edged and this has got more of a round soft edge, edge to it. So you would use it at the top this way with the soft edge and at the bottom with the soft edge. With the side panels of the cot, you would do the same. So any bits that are going to be on show. So for example, we, if you're looking from this direction, you would use this as the front and you would use that front bit exactly the same. So the rough edge will be at the back because you'll be viewing the cot from this way on top of your cake. And that will give you the nice clean finish that you need for your cake topper. So here's our cot made, 3D cake topper on top, all stuck together with royal icing. The it's a girl on the front and we've also decorated the bottom tier with small roses and I've made those using the decorating strip out of the gift tag set of two that we have and in the cot itself I've put a little baby blanket and a pillow and I've decorated those with smaller roses which is also out of the gift tag set cutter. Nice and simple but really effective. <laughs> 